A massive update from NASA is circling the minds of astronomy enthusiasts all over the world as the Space Association dropped the latest news of images to be beamed back from the $10 billion James Webb Telescope. The capabilities of this beast of a telescope aren't to be doubted, but will it be enough? We still eagerly wait for the full functionality of the observatory, and we're closer than ever could be, but you have to think. What is going to get beamed back? We already know that NASA's James Webb Space Telescope is a partnership with ESA, or European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency, or CSA for short. And if you didn't already know that, then you have a whole lot to catch up on, my friend. Anyway, the trio of space agencies will release its first full-color images, and spectroscopic data in just about two weeks' time on July 12, 2022. As the largest and most complex observatory ever launched into space, Webb has been going through six months of preparation before it can begin science work, calibrating its instruments to its space environment and aligning its mirrors. You know, the stuff we've already known if we were paying attention. This careful process, not to mention years of new technology development and mission planning, has built up the first images and data, a demonstration of Webb at its full power, ready to begin its science mission and unfold the secrets of the universe. In a recent statement, Eric Smith, the Webb program scientist at NASA headquarters in Washington, said, as we near the end of preparing the observatory for science, we are on the precipice of an incredibly exciting period of discovery about our universe. The release of Webb's first full-color images will offer a unique moment for us all to stop and marvel at a view humanity has never seen before. These images will be the culmination of decades of dedication, talent, and dreams, but they will also be just the beginning. The entire world's scientists are excited, and you should be too. So, what should the web look at first? Well, deciding that has been a whole other project on its own that's more than five years in the making, led by an international partnership between NASA, ESA, CSA, and the Space Telescope Science Institute, or STSCI, in Baltimore the home of Webb's science and mission operations. Klaus Pontipedin, a Webb project scientist at STSCI, said in a recent statement, Our goals for Webb's first images and data are both to showcase the telescope's powerful instruments and to preview the science mission to come. They are sure to deliver a long-awaited wow for astronomers and the public. After each of Webb's instruments have been calibrated, tested, and given the green light by its science and engineering teams, the first images and spectroscopic observations will be made. Then the team will proceed through a list of targets that have been pre-selected and prioritized by an international committee to exercise Webb's powerful capabilities. After that, the production team will receive the data from Webb's instrument scientists and process it into images for astronomers and the public. Alyssa Pagan, a science visuals developer at STSCI, said in a statement, I feel very privileged to be a part of it. Typically, the process from raw telescope data to a final clean image that communicates scientific information about the universe can take anywhere from weeks to a month. Looks like everyone on the team is really hyped up for this, and why shouldn't they be? From what we know, Webb was first discussed in the early 90s, making it an already 30-year endeavor. If I were one of the scientists, you bet I'd be super excited. So, next up you must be wondering, what will we see? And that's probably the most important question that's been hovering around everyone's mind. Well, the process of carefully planning Webb's first full-color images has been underway for a long time. The new telescope is so powerful that it is difficult to predict exactly how the first images will look. SDSEI's lead science visuals developer Joseph De Pasquale said, 
Of course, there are things we are expecting and hoping to see, but with the new telescope and this new high-resolution infrared data, we just won't know until we see it. We might not know exactly what we'll get back from the telescope, but we have a small idea as to what might beam back, and even though it's a very rough idea, it's enough for us to be excited. We've already come to know that early alignment imagery has demonstrated the unprecedented sharpness of Webb's infrared view. However, these new images will be the first in full color and the first to showcase Webb's full scientific capabilities. We've seen a fair share of samples over the past few months, but these new ones are literally going to be the first. It's like that annoying trend that existed on social media at one time when people used to comment first if they were the first to view it. I'm glad that trend died out. Anyway, in addition to imagery, Webb will be capturing spectroscopic data, which is detailed information astronomers can read about receiving light. The first image package of materials will highlight the science themes that inspired the mission and will be the focus of its work, such as the early universe, the evolution of galaxies through time, the life cycle of stars, and other worlds. All of Webb's commissioning data, which is the data that was taken while aligning the telescope and preparing the instruments, will also be made publicly available. Data galore! So, what's next, you ask? Well, the simple answer is science. After capturing its first images, Webb's scientific observations will begin, continuing to explore the mission's key science objectives. Teams have already applied through a competitive process for time to use the telescope in what astronomers call its first cycle or first year of observations. Observations are carefully scheduled to make the most efficient use of the telescope's time. Then, these observations mark the official beginning of Webb's general science operations, basically, the work Webb was designed to do. Astronomers will use Webb to observe the infrared universe, analyze the data collected, and publish scientific papers on their discoveries. And beyond what is already planned for Webb, we could always expect the unexpected, such as unlikely discoveries astronomers can't anticipate. Of course, there's a long shot of this happening, but it's not like it hasn't happened. For instance, in 1990, when the Hubble Space Telescope launched, dark energy was completely unknown. Now, it's one of the most exciting areas of astrophysics. Who knows what the Webb will discover? Webb is the world's flagship space science observatory and exists to solve the mysteries of our solar system, look beyond distant worlds around other stars, and probe the mysterious structures and origins of our universe and our place in it, all with the help of raw data. It is all set to take humanity on a unique journey as it takes its final steps towards becoming fully functional. The first full-color images taken by humanity's fresh pair of eyes in the sky are soon going to be available to all. July 12th is the big day. Mark your calendars. The images will be released at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. So, what will the web actually find? And what will the first images tell us? Let us know in the comments, and as always, thanks for watching Space Rumor.